everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to financial tuesday now i am still on my rant about um the uh, um love is blind by the way love is blind there's the brazilian edition there's a tokyo edition this one was the american edition that's the one i'm ranting about now one of the things that i noticed about the love is blind was um well quite a few well of course there was the what do you do for a living that kind of stuff but then there was um there were a few things that kind of stood up out to me and i was like yeah that, this is actually quite something that people don't talk about and um because you're too busy looking at how cute somebody is you don't worry about it but um like there were some of the ladies who had it all together like um there was one um uh, mallory she was someone who already owns her own home and uh stuff like that and uh she was financially okay she was uh, very career oriented she was, but you know so someone like that needs a man who um understands that right and um and that was something that was really amazing to hear that people are actually talking about it and the fact that the guy he was not in the same place as she was but he was very supportive and he was okay with her being where she was um the other one was um a bit um annoying because it was the woman who was going to start her masters and the man was already where he wanted to be and um so the man really did need to take a few minutes and think about this and he was like okay so what what does this mean does it mean i have to be financially supporting her while she's doing this masters and stuff like that and i do think that is something worth thinking about because if a couple um if one of you decides to go back to work during when, to school while you're in school the other one has to take up a bit more and um I think while growing, you know, wanting to grow um, is a great thing. Sometimes you actually need to consult the other person. It's not asking for permission. It's just making sure you're on the same page and that uh, the other person realizes and agrees to take up um, Slack. So I have a friend who did that. She wanted to go back to school but she figured well it's my money my time i'm just going to go back to school and what she didn't realize was on the other hand her, um, her husband was not doing quite well at work he was having some issues with work and uh, he was actually considering uh, looking for another job or even quitting and just you know just he just wasn't handling it well so when she went back to school without consulting the guy the guy had to stay at the job because what what does he do he can't quit because his wife has doesn't have a job so he had to stay at the job that he hated and it really did at some point he ended up having a burnout and she felt really bad about this because it was just something they they never discussed it it was not it never came up right she just she was thinking about going for her school they she did not think ahead about how that impacts the the rest of um of um of the family um then there was of course my favorite idiot shake so um you know sometimes i felt like sometimes um some people feel like they have achieved way too much and they're doing way too well for them to be in a relationship and i feel like someone like shake being in a relationship with him um he wants a beautiful woman he wants but he also he wants a beautiful skinny woman but he also wants a woman who i mean he's a ve veterinarian and um ha is a house dj i don't even know why he added that house dj thing i think he just wanted to show how cool he is because he spent way too much time that gold chain at the end during the reunion was so unnecessary but anyway yeah so um so i think that uh for men when they are like that the eligible bachelors so that was okay but then when the woman is the one who is like that then it's questions ah is she going to be happy now one thing that i was curious about um was 
So what happens if you fall in love, get married, and you, one of you lives in New York and the other one in California? Turns out that they are recruited from the same uh, states, from the same area. So this is someone that you might have met, you could have met anyway, like in a club or something like that. So maybe it's moving um, from one street or one suburb to another, but it's not like moving from one state to another. So I was, I was quite relieved with that. But, yeah. Sorry, because do you quit your job for a man or a woman? And uh, how do you decide which one you, which one to go to move in? Um, I also was looking at it again. And of course, my mind goes to how Kenyan women um, used to be told, because I don't think it applies anymore. Nowadays, people are, think ahead. But I remember people used to be told, don't buy a house because if you're, if you're single, because then you won't get a husband. Um, no man wants a woman who has who owns a house. And and then well, I think it's still it's still the same because so, someone says that you know women don't get married at twenty anymore. Some women get married in their forties. So if I've been working since since I was twenty five, by the time I'm forty, I'm a house owner. Um, so if I'm if I own a home and you're renting because not everybody's lucky. Maybe you started working late or your priorities are just different. So do I leave my four bedroom mortgage paid for home to go and live in your two bedroom rented flat? You know, and then people are like, no, 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 you sell or rent out the house. And I'm like, but why? If you're going to live in a rental, well, he can pay rent. I don't mind. <laughs> I paid mortgage. He can pay me the rent. I, you know, I just, <laughs> I think it's a ridiculous thing. Anyway, so um, I liked how this season they actually did tackle their finances quite a bit. Um, a lot of the couples talked about what they do for a living and um, how that was going to impact people. I liked the fact that, like, um, yeah, there was, oh, I keep forgetting their names. I'm really bad with names. But anyway, um, so there was the Asian girl um, who said that she was uh, very uh, you, used to seeing the wife work and the man um, stay at home because she was raised by her dad. And that was, that is something so great to see because then you see that, uh, when a man gets with a woman like that, he's already aware of what he's getting into. And he knows that I'm not going to start expecting her to be a different person. This is who she is and I love her for who she is and let's go. All right, so that's the financial aspect of the love is blind. <sighs> See you, bye.